you should have said, shut it down, Miss Basil. We're going to take a collection so you can get those nails done because they're hanging on fire thread. That's what you should have done. Just like the offering plate in the church. You should have did a school plate to get the nails done. That's all. <laughs>girl joy back with another basil banga basil banga basil banga basil banga basil banga 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 a banga yeah basil banga a banga yeah a little too much <laughs> you know it's always a party it's a party it's a party it's a party a hey, it's a party it's a party eight. No, okay. <laughs> it is Vlogmas 19 up in this piece. So, woo. Woo, sis. The day is over. Thank God almighty. God almighty. Thank God the day is over. Well, is it really the day? Or is it just the first part of my day? You know, I like to tell you the time. 5.23. I am going to get out of here as soon as I get out of here. I had a huge group of kids come. What can I do to raise my grade? What can I do to raise my grade? Look, nothing. <laughs> Not nothing. Nothing. How about that? Do the work the first time it's given to you. Did it take you this long to figure out what you missed from like four or five weeks ago? You just seeing that? It's been sitting in your student account for some time. You can see all of your grades, all of them. And you just now want to know because you know Christmas is coming. Hmm. I got something in my teeth. Why you ain't tell me that? Look, I don't play that. Why you ain't tell me I have something in my teeth, sis? You gotta tell me these things. Let me see. Let me do a selfie. It's just going to be there. <laughs> well, I'm glad today is over. Was preparing the students for their final, which is a four paragraph essay, but teaching them the formula and how to write the essay. So that was interesting. It was exhausting because I modeled for six periods straight. Back to back, back to back, back to back. And it can be extremely exhausting introducing a new lesson it's extremely exhausting but without further ado I did get a little gift so this gift this little boy he's here every day <laughs> in my class every day his mom gets up late and I don't leave before 4 30 5 o'clock so he sits in here and he does his kumon so he I told him I like this candle he didn't know which scent but he got the right it's the evergreen i love the evergreen scent and yankee candles are no joke sis and i love this oh the evergreen is just my favorite i don't know i like the tree smell the pine it kind of reminds me of pine salt i could wear pine salt for perfume that's how much i love pine salt and he got me a gift card shout so what i told him it was funny. He was like, what are you going to do with your card, Miss Basil? <laughs> I was like, well, I'll probably get some gas. He was like, no, Miss Basil, you use your money for gas. I want you to use this card to get you something, Miss Basil. <laughs> like, well, some days I just need the gas. <laughs> That's what it be like. <laughs> You know, make the look, my nails was my only sacrifice. <laughs> that was my treat. And 
somebody else. <laughs> Gave me a piece of candy. They brought me a piece of candy. And then they made, because we have a cooking class in school, and they made um, chocolate on the bottom and peppermint on the top. I've never had this. Um, but they did make it in school, supervised by a teacher. Oh, one little girl, she got me a bracelet. And it says, oh. so it says teach on there. And I thought that was cute. I even slept in it last night. I didn't take it off. And what else I get? I think that, oh, other students brought me some more of that mint chocolate bark stuff. So, oh. <laughs> Oh, and another student, so sweet. I don't know where my bag is. I gotta show you. So, you know, I do this special handshake with every student. And this particular girl, I wouldn't do a handshake with her because she had this little, this little soft little thing on her badge, attached to her badge, and it's soft and it, you just wanna rub it. And every day, so instead of shaking her hand, I would just rub it. I was like, this is gonna be my good luck. And I would rub it. So then um, she was, in line and she was like I got you something and she put the thing in my hand I was like no but this year she was like well you love it so much I want you to have it ah oh, it was so awesome so amazing so I already put it on my keys and it has a little face on it where's this little face I don't know what you call this can you see the little face his little... so <laughs> his little face um it is so soft so I think I'm gonna have to start to put this in my pocket so I can rub it during class make my nerves settle down that's what it does it's just so soft and um he's so cute he's so cute and I think I was doing so bad y'all my students knew I got my nails done they was like oh you got your nails did how you know that how you know I got my nails did? I sure didn't announce it. Was it that bad? Did they really look that bad? And nobody had the nerve to tell me it was that bad. Now when your students are telling you something is bad, it's bad. Thank you for letting me know that I was looking ratchet at school. Hmm. What nerve? What nerve? You should have said, shut it down, Miss Basil. We're going to take a collection so you can get those nails done because they're hanging off fire thread. That's what you should have done. Just like the offering plate in the church. You should have did a school plate to get the nails done. That's how bad they look. But, Auntie, I'm glad they're done, though. I still can't get a good pick of these nails. They're just so pretty. The detail that's on them, the sparkle that's on them, I'm still loving them, child. Kids the notice, child. Say, oh, you got your nails in. Yes, I did, boo. Now have a seat. Have a seat. Don't worry about my nails, okay? Have a seat, boo. Yes, you. Uh-huh. Okay, point blank, period. Just be quiet. Yes, that's what I said. What? Excuse Right. I thought so. <clears throat> Anyone for number 15, what is the answer? <laughs> Look, y'all, I got to see if my eyes are puffy. Because you know they be puffy in the morning. It is what it is. Sometimes I just wake up with puffy eyes. But anyway, I'm in my classroom. I was minding my business. You know what I'm saying? I had the little nice mood lighting on and stuff. Boom! Here comes one of my students. She's in here with me. <laughs> She's in here. Classes haven't started yet. Okay? And so she brought me a teacher's gift. I'll let her. I'm going to let her hold the camera. She wants me to open the present now. So look. Look what she got me. I'm so excited. Now, did you wrap this all by yourself or your mama help you? Uh, I'm not credit. <laughs> did she help you? I, do. I suck at wrapping. <laughs> but this is good. She did a great job. Okay, let me see, guys. What did she get? I was eating my little cookies this morning. So it's a re relaxation mug gift set. 
and it has body lotion, body wash, bath salts. Also, it's like a like a I need that rejuvenation, that relaxation. You know, I need that in my life because these kids, my lord Jesus. But she's a sweet girl. Thank you so much. I love it. Ginger Rose. Thank you. That was so sweet. Oh, that was so sweet. And the other little girl um, that she was with, she was just blown away. It was her first time in the classroom. She was blown away by the classroom. And I, I don't know, I asked the little girl a question. She was like, oh no, you know, I asked her if she watched YouTube videos. And she's like, no, I just mostly watch artists and stuff like that. I said, well, do you know that I drew and designed, you know, most of this stuff in this room? She was like, no way, oh my God. Oh my God, this is like the coolest room ever. <laughs> so then I gave her a tour of all the things that I painted and drew and she gave me a good idea, a little activity I can do for Vlogmas on some mugs and um, that I can draw on. And she told me the supplies I need. And I was like, that's inexpensive. It's something I, I'll probably um, enjoy doing. So I'm just so looking forward to the break, doing a puzzle, maybe doing some drawing and stuff. I'm just so excited and I feel so blessed, even though the financial struggle is still there. But even throughout all that, I can always find the joy and the love um, that's priceless. And sometimes it's not always about the money and so forth. Sometimes it's stressful, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I still feel richly, richly blessed. And this was a blessing, you know, just seeing the girl's face and having that conversation and that connection with the little girl, learning something new. So I don't know, the day is starting off wonderful. So I will check in with you later. Lord Jesus, made it to the end of the day, child. Made it to the end of the day. Woo! So now, I don't know when I'm gonna get this up, okay? But I'm just glad the day is over. Do you know how many teachers are glad the day is over and the week is winding down and then Friday is the last day? And I knew it was gonna happen. Went over the essays yesterday. Went over the process. What goes into an essay? Went over the thesis statement. The thesis statement is the heartbeat of your essays, one of the most important parts of an essay. I said, I'm going to repeat it five times. Five times I'm going to repeat what a thesis statement is five times. A thesis statement is this. One, two, three, four. What's a thesis statement? Where does it go? Five. Let, one more for the road. What's a thesis statement? And where does it go? I swear to God, I come in. The next day. What's the thesis statement again? Well, Lord, look in your notes. That's what you got a notebook for. This is what I told you to copy on the board. Whatever I wrote on the board should have been a mirror image in your notebook. I can't help you. Look in your notebook. Ask your neighbor. Click your heels three times. Maybe the memory will come back to you. So we got through the first class, took their finals today. So far, it was like a slow move, moving engine. And they um, finished the first class. So now, I'll probably stay here and grade those. Shwanda Butler is 521. So I'll probably stay here. One of the girls like, you coming to our dance, Miss Basil? And I think the dance is at six o'clock. So I might as well just stay, stay here and you know, watch the girls dance, so I don't mind. I'm already here, and they have snacks. All the parents brought snacks for the teachers today. They had Chick-fil-A, sandwiches, fruit trays, vegetable trays, cakes pie, so I got a whole bunch of cakes and stuff over here I've been munching on. I'm getting kind of hungry. I probably should eat my salad that I didn't eat for lunch. I ate whatever was in that workroom. That's what I ate save that salad for tomorrow but salad doesn't last too long so I just I don't know I'll look at it and see if today is the last day but I'm telling you I feel like I'm ready to go home but I must stay now if I can get these in it'll be a good day because all grades need to be in 
I had a room full of kids at the end of the day. What can I do to get my grades up? What can I do to get my grades up? Those low grades and those zeros been sitting in that grade book for a couple of months now. You didn't see that? Because the kids always ask to check their grades. Those grades aren't new. No, you just want those Christmas presents, okay? That's what you want. All right, I know the game. I know the game. <laughs> Whew. But I'm glad the day is over. Tomorrow's a half day. Does that mean the teachers leave? The teachers don't leave. The kids leave. But even if that frees up that time for us to get some work done and I don't have that big traffic jam at the end of the day, that's still a win-win for me. So, so each class is 77 minutes. Ooh, so no, because my first period, period, is the first period. And that's off. <laughs> so I can get some work done during my first period too. So that's good. And then I got two more periods to go. <laughs> so, I don't know. So therefore, sometimes when I get home, guys, I'm just too tired. Um... Oh, shoot, and Bobby has a basketball game tomorrow, so I can't stay tomorrow. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the break of doing nothing. Nope, I'm going to be doing a puzzle. I'm so excited. I'm excited. Who gets excited over doing a puzzle? Who does that? Who does that? Why don't you get your life, sis? Get your life. I am right at the kitchen table doing a puzzle. <laughs> so I'm excited. I can do the puzzle with some spirits. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't know if I'll come back, but if I don't, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit your post notifications. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the ones who are always supportive, whether it's a crazy video, a high-strung video, attitude video, funny video, whatever kind of video. I do appreciate your constant love and support and your comments. Um... So I do appreciate them. So thank you. All right, guys. So until next time. Later.